Hello guys, welcome to Visor Down. My name is Alex and today we're at Snetterton MSV circuit for the Yamaha track experience. Now what we're doing here is basically razzing around the track on the R6, there's the R1, the MT-09 SP and a Nike in here as well. And basically what Yamaha are doing is a VIP package really. Today what I'm riding is the R6, this beautiful little machine, track only now. And we're just doing a good few laps of Snetterton. It's the first time for me on track, I've got to say, I'm a complete novice, but it's been, it's been a dream. I mean, you can transition all your road riding onto the track and you take it to a new level, genuinely. But this has been an incredible experience so far. So let's have a look at the bikes, have a look at what we're up to, and get a few tips. Now a few bits I'm going to run down here. Just start off and just explain what the Yamaha track experience is all about. Then how I'm getting on because I'm a complete novice at track riding and riding at Snetterton at least. And then we'll just go from there, talk about the Yamahas, talk about the R6 and just cover it all really. So first things first is that I'm a complete novice when it comes to track riding. This is my first time on track and so far it's just been incredible. I mean you can transition all your road riding skills onto the track but then you can take it to another level because when you're on, on the road yeah, you can enjoy the bike and yeah, you can have a bit of a laugh, but there's always that bit of nagging doubt at the back of you that there might be a cop around the corner. There's speed limits, there's people doing unpredictable things on cars and in cars. But in any case, when you're on track, it's a completely controlled environment. You've got other people razzing around with you and it's all calm. But as a novice rider, you can really start pushing your skills and pushing the bike to the very limit. Now, when it comes to, of course, the Yamaha track experience and how Yamaha have set this all up, and basically you're treated as a VIP guest star. They wheel the bikes out for you, they get the bikes fueled, prepared, race ready, and all you need to literally worry about is riding on track, which is incredible. So the Yamaha track experience goes to tracks all around the UK, some of the best tracks, Silverstone, Donington, Brands Hatch, Snetterton as we're here today. And basically you just turn up and worry about riding. Now something that makes today even more special is the fact that BSB star runner-up Jason Halloran is here and he's basically able to give us some tips of riding, some of his expert bits of advice and he's been riding around the track with us, tailing us, following us and we've basically been able to get a glimpse into what it's like riding at the very top level. Now he's been able to give me a few tips in particular in terms of like positioning on the bike, like hanging off the bike a bit earlier before going into a corner and coming into a corner a bit tighter to then power out and even take some people who are going a bit wide to go into some hairpin corners and basically getting an insight into the way that he thinks about track riding and of course he's just exceptionally talented on a bike but to be able to follow him around the track and really start seeing the lines that he's seeing is incredible now of course a normal yamaha track experience they wouldn't have a bsb star here he just happens to be here but there is tuition included for the yamaha track days so if you come here and you're not so sure about your riding style your riding skill the guys at yamaha have had plenty of experience riding bikes themselves the second tip he had for me is going to be to maybe break a little bit later into the corner but also take the different line so on this track especially there's a few hairpins where people are breaking pretty soon pretty late whatever but they're staying out wide and then cutting in his tip for us was to think about coming into the corner and carry the speed into the corner brush it off and then take the wide exit so you sort of attack in the corner in a different way completely that means that you can get a bit of an advantage over some of the other riders we've of course been riding the r6 here it's now basically a track bike only there will be of course the older used bikes out there but the r6 is the first time i've ridden it as well and it's been a delight. I mean, it's nice and light to throw around the track. Once the tires get warm, you can really get a good lean in and you can really tuck into the bike and keep up with the litre bikes, most importantly. I am in the novice class, of course, but I've been able to keep up with some of the S1000RRs of the world and even the R1s, but the R1 did take me earlier on. But in any case, the R6 is really holding up well and I'm super impressed with how well it handles on the road. 
be interesting to see how the R7 compares to it, but that's another story. So I've just jumped off this, the, the Nikon. What an unreal machine. I've really had a good time on this. I think when I first went out, I was overriding it a little bit. I think I was trying to overcompensate and get used to it, but you start taking the same lines as you would anyway, you'll forgive the sound where it attracts it. You start taking the same lines anyway, and it handles like a dream. It's like, it's comfortable. It's got the power. You can really start getting a good lean in. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, a good machine. From this point onwards, I'll have no more slander of a Nikon on this channel, on any social media, because it stands up on track. And the only way I'm gonna hear slander is if you take it on track and you don't like it, because I don't think that's possible. What a machine, loved it. Another thing for the experience for me is going to be the fact that you get to try out loads of these different bikes. Of course, not being on an R6 before, not being on a Nikon before. There's the R1, there's the MT-09 SP, and there will shortly be, I'm sure, the R7 joining the fleet. And where else can you go to a track and try out all of these top-of-the-line machines from Yamaha? The Yamaha track experience. It's where you can start really getting a good go and really just pushing yourself on these top-of-the-line machines. It's been brilliant. So this has been the Yamaha track experience. I've had an absolutely unreal time. Of course, the R6 has been a beauty. The Yamaha guys have been unreal, so helpful and really helped me have a top day. So I can't recommend it enough. If you are even a tiny bit interested in track riding, give this a go and you'll come away with the bug and you're probably gonna end up buying a bike and you're probably gonna end up going to every single track that you can in a year, but that's a good thing to happen. In any case, thanks so much for watching Vise Down fans. I'll see you on the next one. Comment down below if you've been on a track day or you fancy going on one. Which track would you want to go to? Watch it down there, like the video, subscribe to stay up to date with all of Vise Down's latest videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.